Hey everybody, Matt here. Thanks for stopping by. In today's real quick video, I'm going to show you how to print to scale using LibreCAD. Okay, so here's the opening screen for LibreCAD. And the first thing I'm going to do is go up to Options and choose Current Drawing Preferences. That opens up this little window here. I'm going to verify that under the Paper tab, I've got the correct paper size for my printer. In my case, I'm using letter size paper, but there's all kinds of choices here. The next thing I'm going to do is look at the Units tab. I'm drawing in inches. I'm here in the United States, so I want to make sure that inches is selected. And once again, there's a whole bunch of other choices. Then I'm going to go over to the Grid tab. I'm going to show the grid. I'm using an orthogonal grid, and my spacing is automatic. I'm going to look at Dimensions. And under the general scale, I just have the number one. I believe these are all the default settings. I'm not going to draw any splines here, but that's what I have on my splines tab. So I'm going to say OK to this. And now I'm going to set my uh, grid size. So it's way down here at the bottom of the screen. Right now, it says grid status 10 slash 100. What I want to do is actually shrink that down. Now it says 1 slash 10. So as a reminder, what that means is each small box here on the grid represents 1 inch because those are the units I'm drawing in. And each big box, this represents 10 inches. So there's 10 little boxes in one big box. I'm going to keep scrolling or zooming in. The scale I like to work in is 0 0.1 slash 1. So that means each one of these little boxes is a tenth of an inch and each one of these larger boxes is one square inch okay so now i'm going to now that i have my grid status status set up right at least for me i'm just going to draw a couple of really simple shapes i'm going to draw a rectangle i do have my uh, snap to grid on down here and I also have my snap to intersection. We don't actually need that on at the moment. So we'll just use the uh, snap to grid. So now, as you can see, every time I move my cursor, it snaps to one of the grid points. So I'm just going to start here at the origin, left mouse click, and drag. So that's a square box that's one inch on each side because that's the grid size I set up for myself. I want to make a two inch wide by one inch tall rectangle. So I'm just going to left mouse click there again. Escape out. I'm used to using the scroll wheel on my mouse. I often do this to kind of move the drawing around. I can also um, use uh, control and then left mouse click and pan my drawing around. Okay, so now I have a two inch wide by one inch tall rectangle. And I'll draw one other shape here. I'll draw a circle. And I'll left click and drag so that's a two inch in diameter circle. Let's do that. So I'll left mouse click again, escape to exit that command, and there's my two inch in diameter circle. 
I'm going to go up here and draw a couple of simple lines just to mark where the center of the circle is. You'll see why in a minute or so. Okay, so now I've got my rectangle and my circle. Again, this is two inches by one inch, and this is a two inch circle. So now if I click Print Preview, which is this button right up here, it's right underneath Plugins. And by the way, I suppose I should show you that I am running LibreCAD version 2.1.3. So that's the version I'm running. So back to the Print Preview button. If I click on that, it shows me this. So now I'm going to zoom out. And it, so it's actually showing me the letter size piece of paper that I'm going to print on. And it shows my rectangle and my circle. Up here, there's a box where you can indicate the scale at which you want to print at. So if you click on the little down arrow and I hit select 1 colon 1 or 1 to 1 scale. Now if I print, this should be a 2 inch by 1 inch rectangle and a 2 inch circle. Before I print, I want to show you one other feature that's really nice inside of LibreCAD. You see the my mouse cursor is in the shape of a hand. If I left click and hold, I can move the piece of paper around. That allows me to print my drawing wherever I want on this piece of paper. So that's that's really useful. Okay, so we're set at 1 to 1 scale. I'm just going to hit the print button. Brings up my printer dialog box. I happen to be using an HP PhotoSmart D5300. I'm going to hit the print button. Okay. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is printing. I'm going to run one other printout before I switch the camera around and show you what's actually been printed. What I want to do is change the scale. So instead of printing 1 to 1, I want to print 1 to 2. So it might be a little difficult to see, but what it did was it resized my shapes here to be half as big because I chose a 1 to 2 scale. And just for fun, I could look at a much smaller scale Let's look at like 1 to 16, and that really makes my rectangle and circle very small, 1 16th the size. So let's go back to 1 to 2. Zoom in, zoom in on my paper. And I'll go ahead and print this one as well. Once that finishes printing, I'll switch the camera around and I'll show you what it actually printed. And we'll put a scale on the shapes and you'll see what size they printed at. Be right back. All right, we're back. This is what came out of the printer. The left printout is full scale, one to one, and the right one is half scale or one to two. So let's take a closer look with a ruler and hopefully you can see that the rectangle is indeed two inches wide which is what we drew and the circle is two inches in diameter. which is what we drew. So that's full scale. Now let's look at the other drawing, the half scale drawing. If this came out correctly, then our rectangle should be one inch wide instead of two. And that looks pretty good. And then our circle should be one inch in diameter instead of two. And that also looks pretty good. 
So I hope this sort of foundational information will get you going well enough to try printing to scale on your own using LibreCAD. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Uh, thanks very much for watching.